Hey gang, Trigger here again with Breaking Muscle. What we're looking at today is the kettlebell snatch. Now we did the kettlebell swing last week, but today we're taking a kettlebell from the ground all the way straight overhead in one movement. So to set up, it's very similar to anything else that we do. We have the bell between our legs, we have a good lumbar curve, our knees are tracking over our toes. For this movement, I may actually turn the kettlebell a little bit sideways. I'm going to reach down and grab it so my pinky is pointed away, and I'm going to pull this bell off the ground just like I'm starting a lawnmower for any of you that live on the, the East Coast or anywhere else besides California. I'm going to grab my kettlebell, I'm going to pull it straight up, and then right at the last minute I'm going to punch up in the ceiling so that the bell doesn't swing around and smack me in the arm. If you do this a couple times, you'll end up with a huge bruise and no one really likes that. So I reach down, I grab my kettlebell, I take a deep breath, I drive up, and punch. See how it didn't hit? It just met my wrist right at the top. On the way down, I'll often retwist this to get my hand back in the right position. So boom, pinkies out. Pull up hard and punch at the top. If I need to switch hands, I can do so quickly without an issue. That's your kettlebell snatch. We'll see you next week.